Beginning this week, I'm going to talk about guidance, and I'm going to talk about it in a new way. There is outside guidance, and there's inside guidance. I have told the story before, and you may have heard it, maybe not, of some of my major guidance that I've gotten this year. I didn't always understand it, but I know enough to act on it now when I get it. Our last cruise was last November, well, a year ago uh, in November, and I announced that it would be our last cruise. And I just, I didn't really know why, other than a lot of our folks that go on our cruises were getting older, and uh, our our sizes of our crews had diminished quite a bit. Um, you know, we've had up to 350 people on a cruise before, and we've been running of late about 75. We've never made money on the cruises, but that was not the major fact. It's never been a major fact in this ministry. It's what we can do to serve. But I was told that this would be our last cruise. Now, I had no idea about the virus. I, but I just, I, I, I know when I get that kind of guidance, you've got to act on it. The second thing that most people don't know is I had planned a personal vacation to go to China in March. Uh, and uh, I'm thrifty. Those of you that know me <laughs> know that this is the case. So on this cruise, I booked an inside cabin. Ahead of time, when I could still cancel, I just had an, a funny feeling about this cruise going to China in March of this year. And uh, I had a funny feeling about an inside cabin. Can you imagine the air circulation in the inside cabin? Well, uh, I canceled it, which is totally opposite from who I I love travel look forward to travel. It's one of my main things in life, my main passions, and yet I canceled it. It's because of the guidance that I got. I just thought, now this is not the time. <laughs> Thank God. Can you imagine? Well, let's talk about guidance, both inside and outside. Your belief in God, number one, opens you to the guidance of God. And it says to your human mind that I believe in something beyond my human reasoning, beyond something that I can figure out at this time. The very act of seeking God's guidance revitalizes you spiritually. It says to to your human mind, don't be a closed fist. Open up and receive. So rather than praying to God to show you the way, to show you something outside of you, like a sign or a wonder, you simply pray for God to show you the way to divine ideas that are within you. Ideas that you may not understand because, because it's the wisdom from above. It's beyond your human thinking. But as you go through your life seeking this guidance from God, you'll begin to trust it even when you do not understand it. You simply pray for God to show you divine ideas that are coming through you. See, if we don't pray for this, we're sometimes blind to this guidance. We just look the other way. We look the way that we want to look as a human being, a human brain. Divine guidance, though, will take you on a journey of the soul. You will meet with God in a sacred atmosphere where you meld mind and heart 
with the Spirit of God. And then you move from asking what to do or what changes to make in your life to absolutely knowing what is best. That you rely on this divine guidance that you might not totally understand in the moment, but you know that it's the best. Yes, God, I know what to do in each moment of decision. I know what to do in each moment of crisis. And sometimes that knowing tells me more to anything that I could think 24 hours a day within the confines of my own human mind. I know that there is nothing, nothing more powerful than I can do than believe in you, God, to show me the way and to help me choose beyond the normal human thinking or between the alternatives. I pray that I open up this week to your guidance, that I begin to rely on divine ideas that you send me, the wisdom from above, and that I act on those ideas in total trust, in belief, in faith. And so it is. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray in thanksgiving. Amen.